Ten zero. And right now we are going to do our reload function. Uh, are we actually going to make a reload key? Uh, we'll do a key binding for that later. Let's just get the reload functionality down now. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, well, we have to make sure that this, uh, that our ammo is not less than or equal to zero. Why is that? Well, uh, first off, if it's less than or equal to zero, we want to set it to zero because we don't like negative values. We don't want negative values. Second, um, we, uh, we're going to have it so that way we can't fire until we reload. How long is our reload? We're not going to have any reload animations per se, but there will be like a time limit for you to fire. So let's get that out of the way. So on our set node, we are going to do a check. We're going to say less than or equal to zero. And then we're going to have a branch. So I'm going to hold down the B for, ba for Billy key and left click, and we have our branch. And we're just going to go plug this into that as our condition. And we're going to plug this into the set. And if it's true, if, uh, if it's true, we want to set can fire to false. And we want to set ammo to zero. So let's get that out of the way right now. So with ammo, I'm just going to hold down Alt, left click, drag it out. And we set that to zero. And we want to set can fire to false. So Alt, left click, drag it out. And we're fine with setting it to false. Uh, we're fine leaving it as is because unchecked means that it's false. So Doug, how do we handle how do we handle like checking to see if it's if can fire is true or not? Well, simply put, whenever we fire, we don't even want it to fire uh, all of the projectile and stuff like that. We want to make sure that we check the can fire. We want to make sure we can still fire. If it's true, if it's true or not. So let's get started with that right now. So I'm just gonna hold down all. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna hold down Control, uh, left click, click, drag it out to get branch and in this branch we're going to connect these two guys up on press we're going to check to see if can fire is true if it's true then we just fire this stuff off as usual if it's false we want to do things now we want to actually have our delay etc etc so let's do that so i'm going to hold down d for delta left click for a delay on false i'm going to plug that into delay and we're just going to put this at uh, uh, one sec after that is set to done, we're going to reset ammo value and can fire to true. So let's do that. Uh, ammo, we can set this by holding down alt, left clicking, dragging it out. And I'm just going to set it equal, oops, I'm going to set it equal to 25, because why not? And then I'm going to set can fire to true. How do we know it's true? If we stick the checkbox. Compile, we save, go back into here, and then we just. Oh no, I can't find. Oh, there we go. And that's how we do our reload function. Well, there you go, but guys, you have fun with that, and I'll just see you in a little bit.